Michelle, APT Jamie here, and today we're going to do some stamp carving. Mm -hmm. It's been a while. It's been a while since I've done one of these. Okay, now this is actually on behalf of Art. Oh, it's hashtag, y'all. Hashtag Art. Eight. Oh, maybe I should start over. No. <laughs> Hashtag A J O S twenty twenty hashtag tribal. Okay, so um, I've got another project coming up, and this is kind of like a, a hindsight kind of video. <laughs> I know, not what y'all want to hear, right? It's for hop, y'all. Hop, hop, hop. Hashtag hop, hop, hop. <laughs> Tribal hop, y'all. Um, any hoots. My video doesn't doesn't know if it wants to go or come or stop or go. Any hoots. Um, I already said that, didn't I? So I had uh, this idea about this feller, a person, and... Uh, I drew it out, sketched it out real quick like, and y'all saw I transferred it onto my uh, pink stuff. This is Speedball Pink Stuff. It's their carvable rubber. It's not rubber, I don't think, really. Not really, y'all, but, you know, whatever. Um, and I, I only get it, I only buy it from Michaels when they have a, a 50% off coupon. Okay? And I buy the big one. It's like, I don't know. I don't know what it is, y'all. I don't know how big it is. It's big. But it, but you cut it down to size, okay? Okay. So, uh, the the main thing to remember when you decide you're going to carve a stamp is you remember your tools are sharp. They will cut you, okay? Caution. Use caution. Uh, you need to secondly decide are you going to carve the lines away or keep the lines okay one is a negative image and one is a positive image and yeah I'm sure y'all know which is which but you know me and my brain just can't can't, can't quite grasp it okay? I tend to leave the lines which I think is what gives me the positive image anyway so I'm carving away everything else all right and like I said I've got a project coming up uh, I don't know in a few more days I don't know what day the hops on uh, and we'll be using the stamp in that project and as a matter of fact we're gonna carve two stamps today okay okay so I'm trying to do a close-up y'all know I have issues when I do close-ups I tend to get off screen and that's just how it goes, y'all. Um, also, by the way, this video has been majorly uh, sped up in uh, most most portions, okay? And uh, some more faster than others and all that good stuff. Some are kind of, I wouldn't say they're normal speed because I really go pretty slow. And... Um, the that's that's another that's a tip for you don't get in a big hurry y'all that's when you're going to make a bobo you're going to slip and cut yourself you're going to slip and cut in an area you don't want to uh don't want to cut in okay so use use patience and calm look at this as a zen type meditative thing okay now my project's already made like I said this this video I was gonna uh, give y'all the option if y'all wanted to see it but I decided I'm gonna put it in the hop oh let's hope I still time for me to fit it in the hop uh, oh and this is hosted by uh, art joy of sharing which is Peg Robinson and Shell C I hope I said that right <laughs> There will be a link to uh, the Facebook group in the description box below and one to the Art Joy of Sharing YouTube channel as well because there is a channel there. 
and uh, Shell and Peg also have their own YouTube channels as well. So, anyways, I feel rushed. I'm telling y'all to use patience when you're garbing, but I feel rushed, rushed because I, I all of a sudden decided, oh, they're giving me one more chance to get the video done. And see, my other video is really long, y'all. It's a long one. And I thought, well, you know, I could probably speed this this part up and get it. Well, you know, closer to closer to the uh, typical ten to fifteen minute video that uh, works best for um, hops. Cause it's a hop, y'all. Oh, uh, click uh, look in the description box below. Click on the phrase "see uh, show more" to see more information, like the links to all the other hoppers in the videos, okay? And uh, you'll click on the first link in the list, and that will take you to the next video. And then you'll do that in each video you go to each channel you go to. You'll click on their first link, and it will take you to the next video. And then when you get back to me. You've completed all the videos in this particular hop at this particular time. <laughs> if I make it hop, oh, I don't know why I didn't think about the, think of this sooner. I I just tell you sometimes. I just tell you sometimes. I I just don't even don't even know. I guess we all have moments like that. Some of us more than others, but say lovey. That's French for so what? No, I don't know what it means. <laughs> it's like whatever. That's probably what it is. Whatever. Say lovey. <laughs> and so it goes. Maybe something like that. I don't know. It's not a French lesson. Okay. French lesson. Mercy Bico. Thank you very much. <laughs> And there, there's a, a hopefully a list of ingredients in the description box as well. And um, like I said, I have another video coming up wherein I use the stamp. I actually use the stamps. You know, when I carve stamps, I actually do use them. And uh, it was my husband's uh, suggestion that I made the second stamp, which we will get to sooner or later. I don't know. Cleaning up everything. It's handy to have a, a whisk brush on your desktop. Oh, it's time to check out the stamp. See how, how well it's coming out. Oh, look at that. That's that's needs some stuff. And this is where I'm most most often going to mess up is when I come in here to do some finer details. So, any hoots, take your time. Be calm. My husband, anyway, my husband said, did I even finish that one? Probably not. My husband says, well, you know, that kind of looks like a boy. I'm like, no, it's a girl. I said, well, really, it's a unisex person. You know, he says, well, looks kind of manly to me. And I'm like, whatever, dude stomped off out to my studio space. Hmm. He might have been a little right. But just a little, but don't tell him I said that. Okay? So, our next one's going to be more girly. More feminine and feminine. 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 But I like them both, y'all. Yeah, baby! Look at that. Nice. Makes me happy. Just a couple more little lines here and there. Now, also another tip. When you get into the wider spaces like that, where there's an open space, it's much easier for the center part of your stamp to touch down and kiss your paper with a little extra ink you don't necessarily want on there. Just fair warning, okay? So, uh... And that's the good thing about this pink stuff is technically it's kind of thick enough you could carve on both sides if you if you're really careful. Okay, I'm I'm not that careful, so I don't I don't do that. <laughs> but you sort of could. Anyways, you just need to be aware of that. See, I'm just 
piddling now. I'm just piddling. It's like it's fine. I like it. It makes me so stinking happy. So here's our other one. It's more girlish. And uh, I'm going to do the same thing. I've drawn her out with just a regular, you know, graphite pencil. Just a regular schoolyard pencil. And uh, you lay it on top of your pink stuff if you're using pink stuff. And you just smoosh it around with the bone folder. Not a real bone. And the uh, pencil lines will transfer onto that. So, ta-da. Now, you can also trace. Okay? Make, make pencil tracing paper where you just scrub the pencil, you know, on a piece of copy paper. Scrub, 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 scrub. And then you lay that on top of your stuff. And you can outline it with a, um, another pencil or a pen, even. Um, what else could you do? You can draw straight on to this stuff. Now, a lot of people like to use uh, a permanent black marker, and then that gives them uh, definite lines to either carve or carve away. Carve around or carve away. I'm carving around my line, which is actually harder and takes more time, and you got to be way more carefuler. Way more carefuler, y'all. Guy, okay. guy, okay. just putting that out there. And uh, I start with the smallest V groove tool I have. Now, see, I've got a, a little paintbrush in my left hand, and that's because sometimes the uh, material that you're carving away will kind of get stuck up in the, uh, the blade of the cutter, and it's just so much safer, trust me on this, to use the paintbrush to get it out as opposed to your finger or your fingernail. Okay? Okay. So, as you can see, this one's got the bosoms going on. And um, it's an adult channel, y'all. Not for kids. But you still know what bosoms are. Anyway, if not, ask your mother. So, better not be no under 13s watching this anyway. So, never mind. Carving away all the material between my lines. Okay? And I tried to, uh, the lines there going across the rib cage area, they're not necessarily ribs, y'all. I was trying to keep the lines uh, cohesive between the unisex one and this one. They both have lines on them, and this one's got a bunch of circles. And they were really tedious and kind of hard to uh, carve out. Just, just putting that out there. It looks real easy, but no. Not so much. It's kind of hard to get smooth lines. Maybe I should carve more often. Then I'd be in more butter practice and maybe could do more butter even. Could happen, I guess. Probably not, but it could have. <laughs> oh. So, let's see. We've only got about two hours left in the video. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. But it could have been. Could have been. And goodness gracious. How's my timing going? I don't know. Tedious on the circles. Just saying. So carving away all the material, not the lines. Keeping the lines, okay? It's much easier to carve away the lines and like way faster. Just saying. You could do one of each, all right? You could, you know, it's, you'd have to be really good and be able to get them all lined up and stuff. But technically, theoretically, you could do... Uh, do both. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> Crazy voiceover. What's new, people? What's new? 
Oh, when you're uh, doing the hop, y'all, be sure to uh, like the videos. Okay. Subscribe to those channels if you're not already subscribed to them. Okay. Mm-hmm. Some good people out here, y'all. And um, I would say click the bell for notifications of new uh, videos and lives if you have your YouTube account set up for such. But uh, that's not been working for me so well. I've not been getting notifications, and I am set up to receive them. Look, she comes out so pretty. Just a few little fixies. Ta-da! Look at that photo montage. I appreciate each and every one of you. Your likes, your shares, your comments, and uh, subscriptions. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching, and happy arting, y'all.